All right, Halos family, how you guys doing? So we're back, we're lighting up our pizza oven right now, and what we got going on is, I just got some cheap pine. It lights up really easy. Um, we're gonna eventually start throwing it in there with some hickory wood, because it's a little bit harder, lasts a little bit longer. Uh, we buy this bag over at, um, we just buy it over at Home Depot, it's just hickory. Um, I think there's one called mesquite. There's also one called cherry wood. And I want to say there's one called apple wood as well. Um, but we're going to get this super hot. This thing will start going over 500, almost 550. We're still trying to get used to things with this thing. So we're going to get it going right now. My wife doesn't like lighting it up too much because sometimes there's a big bang out of it. Yeah, but we forgot to say tonight's pizza night. And oh, we yeah. have... We do pizza night either Saturday nights or Sunday nights. It seems like it's been every weekend. Maybe just because we're excited because we got a new pizza oven. Yeah. And it's fun to play with it and see how good our pizza is. Yeah, my brother, come my, out. my brother got us that pizza oven, so it's been pretty, pretty freaking cool. Yeah, so we're we're pretty excited. And uh, I think tonight we're going to show them how we make pizza. Yeah, it'll be awesome. So yeah. hopefully it won't get too dark out here too soon. Uh, but we'll show you the pizza going in and coming out. And if it gets too dark, we'll show you guys the pizza inside. I think you guys will really enjoy it. It's really good. It has a really good little burnt taste to it, wood taste to it. So it's awesome. And I'm going to put a link in our description box about my homemade pizza dough. Five ingredients, super easy. And I'll show you what that looks like. So if you guys want to check out that video and learn how to make pizza dough, make sure you check it out. Yeah, for sure. So, all right, guys, we're going to let this warm up. And as soon as this is heated up enough... We'll get started. Uh, yeah, we'll get started and we'll start showing you how we do the pizza dough and add our toppings to it and how it goes into the oven. So yep. we'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, welcome back. So tonight is pizza night at Halo's family and I've got most of my stuff out. Tonight we're making barbecue chicken pizza. So here I'm going to show you my, my chicken that I have in the crock pot. It's been cooking for about six hours. We're kind of doing a pulled chicken, barbecued pulled chicken. So there it's in there. It is ready to come out. Oh man, that looks so good, guys. Here, look at I'm that. I'm gonna show you, cause I'm gonna pull it out. And look, I can't even get it out of the crock pot without it like falling apart. Oh my goodness. There we go. Oh, awesome. So for these ones, I'm just gonna come over here and I'm just gonna like, kinda let it cool down cause I need to like well, shred it. What them. kind of barbecue sauce you put in there? Oh, yes, oh, let me grab it. So, I, mean, I gotta get a little sneak bite. Oh yeah, that's good. Well, if you guys watch our Costco videos, you know we buy just about everything at Costco. So this is Sweet Baby Race. I got it at Costco. It was on my, not last haul, but the haul before that, right? I think so. Not this week, but the following week. On one of our hauls. One of our hauls. Anyway, I bought this and so um, I made um, some chicken. I put 12 ounces of Dr. Pepper in about, I don't know, maybe a cup and a half of the Sweet Baby Race. To your to your liking. Yeah, basically. to your liking. That's just what we use. I think it has a good flavor to it. And so then um, let your chicken cook for about six hours and then it just shreds apart and it's like super yummy. I'm so excited. Oh, we like to use the crock pot a lot because it makes things so much easier and it's basically like you're cooking like a professional, you know? And it has like little to no work to it. You just throw it in and you just let it do do its thing and we're done. You set it and forget it. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Anyway, okay guys. So I have, I've already done my pizza dough. And as you can see, I have, these are gonna be for mini pizzas, like personal size pizzas. Each um, dough ball is about seven ounces. If you guys wanna make my pizza dough, recipe make sure you get the link below i went ahead and put it in there and it'll tell you how to make pizza dough five ingredients super easy so go check that out if you want to learn how to make pizza dough and i guess we're gonna get started yeah yes? let's do it so okay. tell them what you're gonna use okay guys so first thing i do is i put this is just plain cornmeal if you've ever tried to make pizza at home and your dough gets stuck and then you put more and more flour down it doesn't do anything this is a lifesaver and i'm going to show you all you do is you rub some cornmeal. I'm using it on a pizza stone, but you can just use like a cutting board or um, any flat surface that you have. Take one of your pizza dough. See, this is like perfectly stretchable. This is exactly what you want pizza dough to look like. You don't want it to be over sticky. 
you don't want to be coating everything in flour because then you dry your dough out and then you end up with a really like dry pizza dough and it just doesn't taste that good. Anyway, you just want to stretch this out obviously to the point so you're just like not making holes in it but so there you go that's about a good good personal size so with the cornmeal as you can see it just shakes and you can it easily comes off and look at the bottom just puts a little cornmeal at the bottom but it doesn't do anything to flavor or anything like that next we are going to put in we're gonna put a little bit of barbe barbecue sauce like that Put in however much you like. You know, some people like their pizza really saucy. Some people not so much. So you just put in what you like. And then, there we go. Now I already pre-did my cheeses, but first we use three different types of cheeses um, with barbecue chicken. This is just a plain provolone cheese. Um, I think it offers like really good flavor. Sargento. I usually buy it at Costco. Since it was a last minute thing, we normally buy it at Costco. It's a really big pack, which buy it at Costco. Do not buy it at Albertsons. No. This was like a last minute thing and we bought it there. We had to buy two cheeses there. Um, yeah. The other one is uh, smoked Gouda. Actually, that one's not smoked this time. They were out of smoked Gouda this time. Oh, yeah, so I regular just, Gouda. just plain Gouda. Um, and then sorry guys but we got that one at um albertson's which like i said do not do that um always buy it at costco they do have smoked gouda there and regular gouda they also have provolone there and we you've seen our mozzarella from costco yeah this is 4.99 and you can't beat the price at costco no because albertson has that thing for like 12 dollars, and we bought it there before just so because we love pizza so much well and i think now because we make pizza so much what are you saying say hi can you say hi i love it <laughs> Since we're making pizza on a weekly basis, it's just now become a weekly staple that we just pick up a block of mozzarella regardless whether we need it or not. I'd rather have too much because as I said, we'll have family come over and all of a sudden I'm making pizza for the whole family. So it's better to have too much than too little. So anyway, so we got our provolone down. I'm going to add in some chicken, some shredded chicken. This is so yummy. And you guys, if you guys don't even do shredded, you can just cook up some chicken breast or rotisserie chicken works really well too. We buy that at Costco. And then if I have leftovers, we just make a shredded, I don't know, barbecue chicken pizza with it. It works just as well. Well, we just shred it and then uh, throw some sweet baby rays on it and throw it on yeah. top. Does that look good? Looks like enough. Yeah, that looks good. All right, so we throw some red onions on there. Did you get cilantro? I do. It's actually in the fridge, but it won't go on until it's done. That's true. So then I throw on a little bit of Gouda right here. Just kind of make like a good little amount. And then I th also throw on a little bit of mozzarella. Makes it like super cheesy. I've even tried to get a little bit on the crust because it's kind of nice when you bite into those little burnt pieces of cheese on your crust. Oh. So good. So good. All right, guys. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, my pizza still moves without it like getting stuck to the bottom of my pizza stone. So we're going to head outside and put it in the pizza oven and we'll show you what it looks like. All right, guys. So we're about to put our pizza in. Check out the pizza. So yummy. And I'm not even kidding you. I mean, this wood burning pizza oven is like a volcano inside. Check it out. So. Tell me how cool that is. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to get it in there. Hopefully, it honestly takes about a minute and a half to what two minutes to cook, depending on how hot on it each is. Side. Yeah, it's like it's a real, it's really fast. We only do one pizza at a time because these are. So as soon as she throws it in there, she's gonna take over on the camera because you gotta it, watch yeah, how it I, moves I really do it. Quick. Oh, you know what I forgot is the spatula, but I don't think we need it because you have that, right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I don't know, can they hear the sizzle? Can you hear it, guys? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So good, okay. Gosh, that's awesome. Our kids are loving pizza night, I swear, because we have pizza all the time. 
That doesn't mean we never order pizza, but we try not to because this, let's be honest, wood fired pizza is like, you can't go wrong with no, that. No, you can't. It's like the best. It's like going like, to like the pizzeria place, but like that cooks wood. Bur I mean, it's just, you can't, you can't, you, beat, you it. can't beat it. No, so. you can't. We need to get another one too. <laughs> yeah, for our family, we need to have two or three just in order to like keep up with supply and demand. But I'm going to show you the pizza because it's actually already needing to be flipped. Can you guys see it back there? Oh my goodness. Uh-oh. They get stuck a little bit. Yeah, your cheese that you like on your crust. Oh, that's okay. Oh, yum. All right, guys, check it out. Look at that pizza right there. Oh my oh, goodness. Oh man, look at it. It's so, look at that, guys. Oh, yum. Oh, it looks so good. All right, guys, I'm gonna let you guys go. There's the cilantro. I don't know, do they wanna see us eat it on camera? Oh, yeah. guys. Okay. All right, Brittany's gonna cut it up right now. I'll be right back. I gotta go throw another piece of wood in that oven to keep that thing hot, but we'll set it up so we take a bite for you guys right now and mm -hmm. see how good my wife really cooks some pizza around here. All right, guys. All right, Halos family, so we're getting ready. My, my wife cut up the pizza, as you can tell. Check it out. Looks delicious. Um, as soon as we said we're cutting up pizza, all the kids ran over here, and they're like, yeah, let's get some pizza. Ready to bite into this pizza. So everyone's going to grab a piece. Haley's going to run and hurry and wash her hands because she really wants a bite as well. And everyone's going to grab the pizza here. right now. Little bite, little one. I'll, I'll grab this one here. Everyone has a piece. So Samuel, he decided to go outside. And Sam Sam's more interested in the okay. dude perfect baseball bat. So anyways, <laughs> we're going to have some pizza. Everyone's going to take a bite. Kelfer might be hot. Mm. Oh, hot. <laughs> oh, hot. Oh, so good. Mm. Mm. Leah's losing half of her piece. Aiden is too. So cheesy. <laughs> Guys, seriously. It's good. Babe, give me that camera. You need to take a bite of this pizza. Okay. It's delicious. I'm going to take a bite here. What, how is it? Mm. I probably took too big of a bite, but... Oh man, it is good. And the crust is soft and chewy on the outside, on the inside. Crunchy on the outside. Crunchy on the outside. Mm, man. Man, perfectly cooked and it's got that little bit of a wood, like wood fire taste, I guess, because we cooked it with a wood fire pizza oven. But oh man, you guys, seriously, if you do not own a pizza oven, go buy one. It is All right, so Halo's worth it. family. Guys, this is the end of the video, and just remember. You don't always have to make barbecue chicken pizza. You can do whatever you want. Uh, we'll try to post videos up on pizzas. We eat pizza a lot. We'll try to put a different one up. We got a pork. We have a pork one. What else do we have, babe? Well, usually we make the kids pepperoni or cheese. Um, tonight, I don't know. I wanted I wanted barbecue chicken, so that's what we here. So, all right, Halos family. Thanks for watching. And we'll let you go. And like I said. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, like, and share down below. Alright, Halos family, we'll see you guys later. Bye! Bye.